finally this evening, he was a millionaire for a fortnight and he didn't even know it. Think of all that interest that Sean Vincent from Barnsley could have been earning. Well, it took a national appeal for Sean to check his lottery ticket and now he can hardly believe his luck. Chris Kiddy went to meet him. The whole of Barnsley knew that someone had won the lottery and not claimed the prize. The question was, who? Appeals went out far and wide. Now, if you recently bought a lottery ticket in Barnsley, you might just want to check it. A ticket bearing these numbers was bought on the 11th of June and is worth more than £1.1 £1 .1 million, the highest current unclaimed amount. I have five pounds worth of lucky dip and then I have one line with special numbers on. Well, that person was Sean Vincent. He's a 42-year-old bachelor living with his sister in Barnsley and works in a meat slicing plant. And now he's a millionaire. But he didn't find out until two weeks after his win when he checked his numbers on a local website. I was in shock for about 20 minutes, actually. <laughs> didn't know what to think. And you told your mother, tell me about that. Well, I told my mum and she told me to stop being stupid and thing. That's the polite version, anyway. So, what's he going to do with the cash? Well, I think I'll probably end up buying myself a house, get driving lessons because I can't drive, and probably uh, pay my sister's mortgages off and uh, buy my mum's house for her. <laughs> Give your job up? I honestly don't know. I've uh, got a couple of off weeks authorised absence off work and then sort of like get, get my head around it, then I'll, I'll see after that. You're a bachelor? Yeah. It's going to make you slightly more attractive, isn't it? Well, I'm presuming so, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to that? Well, it can't hurt, can it? Indeed it can't. By the way, he doesn't really like the taste of champagne. Sean, Cheers. you may just have to get used to it. Ooh, I'm sure, I'm sure he's getting to like it now. Do you know the person I feel more sorry for? Tell me. Gaynor Barnes. Because, basically, she'd been on a job in Barnsley, bought a lottery ticket, and she and thought she was looking down every sofa, oh, everywhere in a house. She's it looking wasn't the other way. She's